Hi, I'm Roberta Maus with The Timely Perspective, and we're at Watch Time New York, and I am here today with Patrick, who is the CEO of Graham Watches, and thank you for being here. Thank you, Roberta. And uh, tell us a little bit about Graham. First of all, thank you for giving me the opportunity to, to tell you a little bit about Graham. Um, Graham has actually an interesting uh, position within the watch industry. There is a past, a present, and a future. Mm -hmm. The past, George Graham. 1695, he established his workshop as an uh, apprenticeship of Tampion, later on work by the, or developing uh, the deadbeat escapement, and so right. on and so on. Very famous so, person. Very famous person, and someone that is highly respected by, unfortunately, only a happy few. Mm -hmm. Very few people knew about this British uh, craftsmanship that right. was back then in the 17th century um, very, very present. So the present in 1995 up to now, there are two gentlemen, Mr. Eric Lott and Mr. Uh, Mr. William Asprey, who both decided that they wanted to basically pay tribute to George Graham and his craftsmanship and uh, wanted to make sure the name gets amplified around the world. So they launched or relaunched the name George Graham with a little, little gimmick that is today our, how can I say that, our signature, the Chrono Fighter. Right. The Chrono Fighter is the trigger that we have on the left side of the, the watch to activate the Chrono, right. to stop and start. That is the present and in terms of future, Graham will continue, obviously, with the, the, the Chrono Fighter and the, the Trigger, but we will try to establish ourselves more and more as a brand that has a certain playful attitude, right. a little which rock and roll done. attitude. Yes, which you've done beautifully with the, um, uh, the series with the pinup girls. Mm -hmm. and, um, Gra so Graham much. has a really nice, rich history and um, I think what you're putting out right now is very colorful and very bold. Um, but you've also put out something very, very highly technical in this spectacular timepiece, the oh, orrery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the orrery. And um, it's a planetarium watch. Correct. Can you tell me a little bit about this very special timepiece? I will try to be at the height of this piece <laughs> by telling you a little bit about it. Uh, so, long story short, let's start with the very beginning. Um, George Graham, as I mentioned before, if I may take yes, it, thank please. you, Roberta, um, was approached by Earl Orrery to develop a planetarium. Okay. He delivered a beautiful trunk in 1713 to Earl Orrery that basically was the very first planetarium ever developed. 300 years later, in 2013, Eric Lott, our founder and main shareholder, decided basically that to pay tribute to this masterpiece, we should do something, but instead of having it on a trunk, the Orrery, to reduce the size and have a planetarium on the wrist. The result is the Joe Graham Orrery, this amazing watch, 48 millimeter pink gold, right. planetarium with the sun, the, so, yeah, the sun in the middle with a cabochon in diamonds, and then, uh, sorry uh, about that. Now I'm just looking for the, uh, the, the word in uh, in, uh, in English. Uh, with um, Gregorian voilà, calendar and um, this amazing piece, 48 millimeter in pink gold, limited to eight pieces, with planetarium needs to have three elements, the sun, planet Earth, then either a satellite or another planet. Here right. we basically have the sun in the middle, mm -hmm. with the tourbillon decorated with bridges that find their roots into the original orrery that was developed, a diamond cabochon, and then uh, synchronized planet Earth, Moon, and planet Mars. Right. Uh, March. Mars, pardon. The specificity of these pieces, other than the amazing um, tourbillon movement that was developed 
uh, together with Christophe Claret exclusively okay. for this piece, Very good. is that all the elements of the planet Earth, Moon and Mars are using material, so real material from the uh, the Moon, planet Earth and Mars. Which is spectacular. Is and to be amazing. a true planetarium watch versus an astronomical watch, you need to have three bodies on that That's correct. Time piece That's correct. That actually move and work. That's correct. Okay, exactly. so it's a very special piece you've developed. Very, very, very special piece. And what does this retail for? This uh, price is not relevant. You can own the universe on your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it retails uh, a little bit above 300,000, to be precise, 330,000 US dollars. Right. Which for what you have developed is an amazing price. It is actually um, quite aggressive, I would say. It's it's really a very special timepiece. How many pieces are inside that movement? Oh, hundreds, right? Four. <laughs> All right, well, Cut. <laughs> it's very complex and we're really thrilled to have you here with that watch. So thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank All you right. so much. Thank you.